Morphic resonance is a connection across time from the past to the present. And it's a process that occurs between organized patterns of activity on the basis of similarity. What it means, in effect, is that each species has a kind of collective memory. So every giraffe tunes in by morphic resonance uh, to the form and to the behavior of previous giraffes. Um, every crystal, as it crystallizes, tunes in to the way that previous crystals of the same chemical crystallized in the past. So there's a kind of memory given by morphic resonance in all kinds of things. And in the realm of animal behavior, for example, it leads to quite striking predictions. If rats learn a new trick here in London, then rats all around the world should be able to learn the same trick quicker, just because the rats have learned it here. The more that learn it, the easier it should get everywhere else. And there's already evidence that this actually happens from studies of rats in laboratories. Um, when lots of rats have learned something, other rats all around the world find it easier to learn. And this doesn't depend on any normal kind of connection between uh, the different rats or the places. It happens because of morphic resonance on the basis of similarity. The same applies to crystals. When a new chemical is made for the first time, it's usually very hard to crystallize it. And as time goes on, it gets easier to crystallize all around the world. And uh, I think the reason for this is that morphic resonance connects up the crystals so they tune into a kind of collective memory. So morphic resonance works through morphic fields, the organizing fields of chemicals and biological systems. Um, and the word morphic comes from the, the Greek word for form. So it's a kind of resonance to do with form, pattern and organization.